my principal came to me, third year teacher. He walked up to my classroom and he says, I got this brochure. And this brochure said, Making Algebra Child's Play. He said, now would you like to attend that workshop? I looked at him and said, yeah. I definitely want to see that. Because it ain't no play up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see who is making this algebra child's play. Because I am working hard for my mom. <laughs> you know, I was singing Donna Summers, you know. And so I went to this particular workshop. And when I walked into the Holiday Inn on Old Hickory Boulevard, and see, that's how explicit I remember it, because it was an impact on my life. There were hundreds of people in that room who had come from everywhere. And they brought in these five children. And this man walked to the podium, very distinguished, had a soft voice. And he greeted these children with a smile. And they said the name of the school from which these children came from, fourth grade. And as soon as they named the school, guess what? All of those of us who were from Metro Nashville, the labels began to come out. As soon as they named the school, we thought, high priority school. Now, for you that may not understand in the state of Tennessee, high priority means a failing school. As soon as they said the school name, another label came out. 100% free and reduced lunch. Another label jumped out. 75% mobility rate. Another label jumped out. Inner city children. Another label jumped out. Test scores are not even there. And I thought, now he has trouble on his hand. <laughs> but within 45 minutes, I had an opportunity to witness a miracle. He wiped away all of those ladies, those five black children that had come from the schools that I just described to you, who a lot of people believe could not learn had not exhibited the highs of learning. In 45 minutes, he had them solving equations with variables on both sides. I thought, wow, I got to get some of this. Because I need to take it back to my building. 